Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum to everyone and to welcome to Camp Booster channel with Adiyah Shehzadi. Today is our fourth lecture and in this lecture I am I am explaining and learn you all guys about the ayn, ketayn. Its different form na ayn will be in the form of ketayn or an ayn molecule, ionic molecule or the molecule formula. Its positive molecular ayn, its negative molecular ayn and its atom, molecule and ATC. These are the basic definition in the fundamental chemistry and we are today learning about this. Okay, before we uh, I start my lecture, I want to request you all to my viewers, uh, don't forget to my uh, subscribe my channel, like and share with your friends and this will be just for supporting to me and this will be happier for me. Thank you and let's get started towards our lecture. Okay, that is uh, from the fundamental chemistry of the first chapter of the ninth class and third, uh, third lecture about that is the chemical species in which I am explaining the ions, cation, anion, molecular ion and at the last that is the free radicals. Chemical species are those that are exist in the form of the different chemical forms like ions, cations, free radicals, whether molecular form or the single. Atom is just single thing na, and ion is a in the ketonic formula. Ion is what is this? An entity which will lose or gain the electron. This is only the circle of the electron. Whether an atom that is the can't uh, distributable. We can't broke down na. as I will tell you about I think in the last lecture that the atom can't be divided into its constituent pieces because this is the last and purest form of an element that is the atom and atom exists independently or cannot exist in the independent because it depends upon the conditions that are we are providing this atom. If the atom is gaseous and we are taking this in on the open air environment that they, this will not exist and collectively atom is neutral there is no charge on atom it only retain the charge when it loss or gain the atoms or electrons from its nuclei. Ion. Ion is basically created by an atom. It's the smallest unit of an ionic compound. Ion is formed from the ionic compound whether ion can be the positive or the negative. Ion is always surrounded by its opposite charge ion. How? I explain this. Ion, uh, just suppose this, it's a positive charge atom that is present in the center and all the negative charged atoms or ions will be surround this atom to protect this atom because the positive will attract the negative and the negative will attract the positive. This is the case in the ionic form. Ion can be positive or the negative I explained. If the ion is positive it will be cation. If the ion is negative this will be an ion. Okay let's move toward the ion. Basically I am telling you that it's a part of an element that exists in the ionic compounds. Okay, ketine has the two forms, whether it a ketine or anion, are a group of atoms having the positive charge on it, this will be called the ketines. Ketines always have here retained that the positive charge. Ketines are formed when the atom lose electrons from either its outermost shell. Outermost shell is a, also called the valence shell, nucleus is a positive part and the number of nucleus then the shell, first shell is K shell, L shell, M shell and there are the different number of electrons. If the um, hydrogen atom, this will contain only single electron, uh, whether it lost a single electron, hydrogen atom, this will be released one electron and this will be in the form of ketine H positive containing the charge. Here are so many examples of the ketine and enzyme anions. I am explaining only the sodium positive ion when it loses the electron from its valence shell. Sodium has the atomic number of the 11 and it contains the uh, outermost shell. Me is kinder jo hunge maapas electrons jo hain. This will be the seven. I think eight, nine hunge, nine hunge. And this will uh, this have to be octet. Follow the octet rule and this will lose the its last ninth electron. To complete or to occupy its most stable form that is the octane form and this will be the stable and at this will be at this position where he has where the sodium atom has the positive 8 charge 
not nine charge because the ninth electron is removed and this sodium becomes the sodium cation ion and this here we can see in the example that the sodium is losing its electron that is from the valence shell and becomes a cation okay let's move toward the case of the anions anion is the atoms are a group of the atom that have the negative charge on its these are called the anions anion is formed by the gain or the addition of the electrons to an atom if we are gaining anything electron uh, it's a stability rule now that everything that every element wants to require the octet state that is um, that is what uh, every element should have to be eight electron its valence shell El chlorine has the single electron that it's contain the seven electron in its valence shell then it will gain a single electron and become stable in the octet form and here there will be the eight electron in its valence shell and oxygen has the six electron in its valence shell this will gain the two electron from the any uh, outer environment and this will contain the eight electron in its valence shell or the outer shell that is the most stable state here the example of the chlorine chlorine is accepting the one electron from the outside and this will be converted into the chloride ion okay here is molecule and the molecular ion molecule will be the first part and the molecular ion is the what entity that is formed from the molecule molecule it is the smallest particle of an element that exists independently and retain all its elemental properties this will contain its properties this uh, remains the neutral there is no charge on molecule because we know now what molecule h2o there is no charge on on it and it is molecule carbon dioxide it's a molecule and there is no charge so we are calling it neutral elements sorry neutral molecules it is formed by the combination of atoms although compounds are formed by the additions of the elements or the combinations of the element water is formed by the hydrogen and oxygen and carbon dioxide is formed by the carbon and the oxygen atoms it can exist um, exist able units because existable unit why we are saying that they can be independently retained and their properties also retain in the form of the molecule molecular ion molecular ion is formed by the addition or the removal of the one or the more electrons from a molecule it may be negative or positive it formed by the ionization of the molecule when ionization is what is the process ionization is a process when we are taking a molecule let's say it is the carbon dioxide molecule and ionization means we are taking the reaction in the water in the presence of the water and the carbon dioxide will ionize in the form of its in ions that is the positive ion that is the on the carbon ion and the o2 negative ion that is the uh, oxygen ion oxide ion on the other side so this is the ionized form whether we are taking this in the water stable conditions or not ionization is a heavy energy charge when we put the energy or fall energy on a compound or a molecule that is the carbon dioxide whether it is a water molecule water will be uh, disconnected or a, i think it will be uh, constituent particles mein decompose ho jayega it's a really a decomposition process in the ionization state ke whether it is converting into the cation and anion and because because these are creating from the molecules so they that's why they are calling the molecular ions and the chemically reactive hoge molecular ions always chemically reactive as they will attract any positive or opposite charges molecular ion when a molecule loss or gain the electrons it forms a molecular ion the molecular ion may be the radical species having the positive or negative charge on it like the other ions may be cationic molecular because cationic if they have carry the positive charge they will be the cationic molecular ions and the anionic molecular ions will be those ions that carrying the negative charges cationic molecular ions are mostly abundantly the occurrence of the positively molecular ion is more 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 most important and more from the negative or the anionic molecular ions here are the examples of the methane methane helium and nitrogen in their molecular form because they are molecule consist of all the examples are consist of two atoms 
that are the constituent elements and carrying the positive charge so that's why these are the cationic molecular ions when a gas is bombarded with the high energy electrons in a discharge tube they ionize to give the molecular ion here is a setup consider that there is a there is a glass tube at the one end here there is a hole from which we are providing the high pressure gases electron energy okay like this ke x ray hai ya photon hai whatever and the gas that is filled in the tube this will be ionized in the form of molecules whether it's a positive and the negative it's depend on the charge that is carrying on the atom or a molecule here we are talking about the molecule cationic molecular ion so the gas that is uh, filled in the tube this will contain the positive charge and this will be called the cationic molecular ion free radical free radical are the atoms are a group of atom possessing the odd number of unpaired electrons odd numbers mean unpaired number of electron it is represented by putting a dot over the sample of the an element that is the hydrogen ko agar humne free radical ki form mein show karwana ho if we want to take the picture of the hydrogen atom chloride atom and the methane gas or methyl chloride in the form of the free radical that will be contain a circle above its elemental form we are uh, we, i am only talking that on elemental form hydrogen is represented by the h chloride is represented by the cl and if they contain a circle above their uh, sample uh, symbols so they, these will be the free radical and free radicals are the most reactive they can destroy each and everything these are the like uh, x rays the most fastest and the reaction occurs only in just a few minutes because of the free radicals free radicals are generated by the homolytic homolytic means equally equally breakdown of the bond between the two atoms that absorb the heat or light free radical okay let take the example of hydrogen h2 hydrogen gas when we fall homolytic bond kis tarah se iska break hoga ki if we are falling the light or heat in the form of photons on the hydrogen atom there will be a single bond between the hydrogen hydrogen atoms and this bond will be break just because of the absorbance of the energy that is falling on this bond and the hydrogen atom both the hydrogen atom will get the free radical form that is the hydrogen radicals form free radical extremely reactive hoga hamare paas and it's always jo iski specific tendency hoti hai that is to complete its octet as well as the all elements require their tendencies or the potency to acquire the free radical state and plus stability stability is the most important factor that the element always all element want to retain here is a example of the chlorine molecule as i am explaining the i was explain in the last slide that the hydrogen atom how to break down the chloride atom how to hydrogen and the methane it's a simple and the easiest way to fall the photon lights or the sun lights above these atom or a molecule here is a chlorine molecule and when it absorb the high energy photon this will be converted into free radicals that are the created by the two free radicals here will be produce the two free radicals when the methane absorb the high light the there are the uh, carbon in the center and the four hydrogen atoms on the sides these are surrounding the carbon atom and one of them will absorb the energy and and break its bond and um, converted into form of the free radicals and this free radical is most reactive form and this will be converted and this uh, halogen or free radical will fall into the um, process of the halogenation that is the most important factor in the methane formation okay here is the comparison between the ion and the free radical ion consist of the such atom which have the charges they exist in a solution form and the crystal lattice form the light have no effect on their formation free radicals free radical consist of the atoms are a group of the atoms which have the odd electrons and have no charge can exist in the form of the air or a solution free radicals can exist in the form of a in the open air and also in the solutions light effect on their formation i also already told na ke 
light is the most important factor that is considered in the formation of the free radical structures okay here is a just a short quiz for you guys and just to check your ability and to please never subscribe uh, never forget to subscribe my channel because i am new subscriber and youtuber user so support me and thumbs up my channel and press the bell icon thank you so much take care of yourself and the others allah peace